When we begin to work with exponents and radicals, we have to learn how to express a non-prime number as its simplest base to an exponent. And we can do this with a factor tree. I'm going to do an example of the number 64. 64 can be reached at when you multiply 8 times 8. But 8 is not prime, so we have to continue factoring. 8 is equal to 4 times 2. So both 8's can be broken down into 4 times 2. The 2's are prime, but the 4's are not, so we're not finished. This 4 is 2 times 2. I carry down this times 2. This 4 is also 2 times 2. And I carry down this 2. We end up with a line of 2's at the bottom with this number. And if we count them up, we see there are 6 of them. That means 64 can be written as 2 to the power of 6. But what if we don't choose 8 and 8 as our factors in the first step? What if we decide that we're going to choose 2 times 32? Well, this will still work. But the 2 is prime, it's just going to be carried down. And the 32 can be broken into any two factors of 32 that we want. We can use 4 times 8. Since the 4 and the 8 both have factors, we have to continue. This 2 is carried down. This 4 turns into 2 times 2. We have found prime factors of that part. And the 8 can turn into another 4 times 2. Still not finished. We have one 4 left to deal with. This 2 gets carried down. This 2 gets carried down. This 2 gets carried down. This 4 turns into 2 times 2. And this 2 gets carried down. We end up with the same result. We have 6 2's lined up along the bottom. So expressed as its simplest base to an exponent, 64 is still 2 to the power of 6. It doesn't matter which numbers we use when we start. We will always end up with the same result.